In this video, we're going to use, set up a smart app in SmartThings that will allow our front lock to lock based on the status of the open and close sensor of the door. Hi, this is Justin from Simply Smart, where we make smart home technology as easy as one, two, three. So if you're interested in smart home technology, consider subscribing for more content like this. Also check out the video description for the three simple steps to start building your ultimate smart home. Like I said in the beginning of this video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using our Yale Smart Lock and we're going to have it automatically lock as long as the door is shut after a certain amount of time. So the first thing we need to do is just go into our SmartThings app. So I have my SmartThings app open here now and you just need to go up to the hamburger menu on the upper left corner. Then you go into the Smart App section. And then once in the Smart App section, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding a new Smart App. Now this Smart App is built right into SmartThings, so you don't need to worry about it going away. If anything changes, it's right in here and it's very easy to use. All you need is your SmartThings app, your phone, a Smart Lock, and an open and close sensor on your door. So once in the Smart App section, just tap on the plus sign at the top, and we want to choose the Smart App Enhanced Auto Lock Door. So we're just gonna tap on that. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna choose which lock you want to auto lock. So in our case, it's going to be our front door here. So we're just gonna tap that and tap on front lock. And then which contact sensor do you want to use with the lock? So we're going to tap that and we're going to choose front door. Now the next step is you choose the amount of time in minutes that you want to pass before it's locking. Now I hadn't had this set up before because I thought it was annoying. Um, basically it's locking when you don't want it to lock. I can lock it myself. But recently I've been getting in trouble by my wife. She's saying I'm not locking the door when I go out to get our Amazon package. So I'm getting in trouble too much. So I'm going to fix that with an automation. But what I would do, you might want to put this to be a pretty high number. Now, because if you say if you're bringing in groceries and the, the door locks after one minute, then it's going to lock you out. You're not going to be able to get in to do your groceries. Now the door does need to be shut for it to lock. So that is a good feature, but I would maybe put this at 10 minutes or five minutes or something like that to make sure that everyone has gotten through the door that needs to get through the door at that time. And then they are inside and then the door will lock automatically if it's not locked already. All right, so I'm just gonna, for this example, I'm just gonna put one minute. Obviously I'm not gonna stand here for 10 minutes. And then there's another option here, which is a little bit confusing. So this is automatically unlock the door when open. So that would be say if someone opened the door and locked it, but didn't shut the door, then it would unlock. And that would let you know that the door is unlocked, that then you need to go check the door. Um, I don't see that happening very often, but it's a good feature to put in there. So I'm just going to put that in at five seconds. And the last step here is just to assign a name. So I'm just going to say, I'm just going to say front auto lock. And I could put a hyphen in there. I'm just going to use my Grammarly that I showed in another video. If you don't have the Grammarly keyboard, I definitely recommend it. Um, it makes typing and corrections so much easier. And the last step here is if you want to do it for specific modes, I'm just going to leave that blank, but you could choose any, all of your modes or none of them or one of them. Um, so that's up to you. You would just want to choose what you think is best. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and hit done at the bottom now. And I'll close the door. All right, now it's going to go back out to our front section on our smart apps. And now right under the Ecobee Manager, you can see it says Front Auto Lock. And that's the name that we chose. So basically, um, let's test the part where someone were to lock the door and it's not closed. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to open the door and we're just going to lock it quick. And basically after five seconds, what should happen is the door will unlock. So there you go. The door just unlocked because this sensor at the top here has a gap. Um, so it knows that the door is open and there's no reason to have the lock locked when the door is not shut, right? So I'm just going to now close the lock and then what the smart app is going to do is it's going to auto lock our lock after one minute. So we just have to wait one minute now. And man, when you wait for one minute and you have nothing to do except for waiting, it takes a long time. All right, and there you can see the lock just locked. And that was one minute from when the door um, determined that it was closed. And so if you did actually open the door in between that one minute, what it would do is it would just start over the next time it was closed. Now, what if you wanted to add, say, your back lock or another lock? Well, it's the exact same process. What you would do is just come up, tap the plus sign, go down to enhanced auto door lock, and then it's going to be blank. And then basically when you set it all up again and choose your name at the bottom, then it's going to show up in the smart app section. So that's basically all I wanted to show you in this video. It's a super simple smart app to install right with your smart things. It's built right into smart things. Only thing you need is a smart lock and an open and close sensor on the same door. And basically you'll never get in trouble for leaving the door unlocked again. So I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section. Also check out the other videos on the screen now, and I will see you in the next video.